Hello everyone and welcome to another video. ChatGPT just got an update. Which got me thinking, hmm, what if human beings could get a software update too? Just think about it. <laughs> well, that's a conversation for another day. This new update on ChatGPT brings improved factual accuracy and mathematical capabilities. This means that ChatGPT is getting better and better. Since the release of ChatGPT, it has been a game changer on many fronts. Just compare artificial intelligence a few years ago versus artificial intelligence today, and then think what it will be tomorrow. And yes, we know that it's still not perfect, but in spite of its flaws, we can all agree that it has been a game changer and a huge leap in technological innovation. And so, ChatGPT has been fluent in both written language and coding and other things. However, it has been really bad at simple mathematics for reasons too technical for me to really explain or get into right now. And so, one of the big criticisms of ChatGPT since it was launched has been its inability to solve basic mathematical equations. And people have been talking about it on social media, you know, literally complaining about it on social media, and some people sharing their experiences of how bad ChatGPT has been with mathematics. And people on Twitter, you know, we are pointing out the different struggles of how ChatGPT, you know, struggles with mathematical equations. And that's all about the change. Maybe not perfectly, but there has been some improvement. And the recent update is going to change things for the better. As of 30th January 2023, OpenAI has upgraded its well-known language model, ChatGPT, to boost its precision and enhance its mathematical equation handling abilities. So for those who want to go and try it out, you can try it out and share your feedback as well. Uh, there has really been some improvement. Still maybe not perfect, but there has been some improvement. So this means that OpenAI has been fine-tuning the AI model with human feedback from the test version so far. We all know that this is the test version of ChatGPT, right? So the experimentation and the interactions we've all been having on the platform is helping OpenAI to improve on ChatGPT and make it better, so to say. And so, this latest update is expected to enable ChatGPT to tackle intricate computational issues and provide more accurate answers, making it a useful tool for students and researchers and programmers and professionals and just anybody, you know, who want reliable information. Although ChatGPT is still not perfect, but they have been a significant advancement in its ability to deliver factual responses so far. One notable improvement to ChatGPT's accuracy is that it's no longer possible for people to trick it into giving them an incorrect answer. And this is what people have been doing, tricking ChatGPT to give wrong answers and then they go online and share how dumb ChatGPT really is. But with the new improvements, this is no longer going to be the case. Now, ChatGPT will continue to return the correct responses, even if you try to convince it otherwise. Like the case in this um, a screenshot. And you can see an example here how someone is trying to trick ChatGPT into giving a wrong answer and it continually shows the person that it actually knows what it's doing. So this is quite impressive. Um, compared to the last uh, version of ChatGPT. Previously, people were able to do this and trick ChatGPT into giving wrong answers, but this is changing now, which is amazing. This is really impressive. In spite of the imperfections of ChatGPT, ChatGPT has done really well so far. ChatGPT can derive new conclusions on its own and generate value, which was not there before. 
And so to make use of ChatGPT, really, you have to be able to provide it with the right context and, and questions. Uh, this means that ChatGPT can be prompted to be good at mathematics or, or maybe even anything, right? So people just need to be able to learn how to communicate better with artificial intelligence. Remove the fluff and you get it to focus on whatever is it that you want it to focus on. Lack of clarity and playing around with words gets chat GPT confused. So the more clearer you are with what you want, the better responses you will have. So you can check this out. Someone experimented with this and shared the, and shared the outcome. He was speaking to chat GPT and he said, in what follows, you are only allowed to answer with numbers. No words are allowed. Ready? Chat GPT responded, sure, I'm ready. Fire away with your questions. Okay. You have a bag with five apples. You eat one of them. How many apples are left in the bag? Chat GPT said four. You eat another apple. How many apples are left in the bag now? Chat GPT said three. You take your bag to the grocery store. You buy five more apples and you put them in the bag. How many apples are there in the bag now? Chat GPT said eight. You take one apple from the bag, take a bite, put it back in the bag. How many apples do you have in the bag? Chat GPT said eight. He continued and he said, you drop your bag and scatter the apples all over the floor. Your friends came to help pick up the apples, but you could only find half of them. You put those apples back in the bag and as a thank you, you gave one apple to your friend. How many apples are left in the bag? And ChatGPT responded, three. So you see, it's really all about how you ask the questions. It's really all about how you are prompting, you know, ChatGPT. Better prompts get you better responses. That's exactly what I mean. And this is a perfect example. Even though this new update will improve um, factual and mathematical capabilities, uh, ChatGPT is still not perfect. So ChatGPT basically still has a long way to go. And it's okay, it's, this is still a new platform. This is still a new innovation. Let's give it time to improve. Let's give it time to become what we can really fully rely on. So for now, for people that are relying on it for some research purposes, always make sure that you fact checked all of the ideas that ChatGPT speeds back at you. <laughs> Otherwise, you may find yourself in trouble running with information that is completely wrong. And so, yeah, I thought I would share this.